have got a great gal with us today. We have Dana Westerfield with us, GFI. Go for it. Is that right? Yes, that is right. Go for it. I love that. You are a career consultant. And uh, you've been doing this for a while. Tell us a little bit about uh, what you do and how you got into it. Yeah, so I've been doing this now since the summer of 2011. I had been uh, working as a recruiter at that point, and I noticed that with a lot of the clients I was placing, they needed more than just a job. They needed help with their focus, their branding, interview coaching, things like that. So at that point, I decided to take a leap and go out and start Go For It. Take a leap. Mm -hmm. I like that. Dana, I'm one of those people that thought this was just just a big waste of time and energy and money until my wife lost her job of 30 years. Yeah. And then, you know, her company paid for this type of a service to help her with these things. And I'm positive she could not have got another job uh, without this service. For a guy like me who sort of does it myself, it's hard for me to understand but once you look into this, you realize, wow, that this is life-changing stuff we're talking about. I mean, the, the way you look for a job, the, the, the way that you prepare for another job has changed so much. It has. And it you would not has. know until somebody like you tells you how to do that. Mm-hmm. Can you talk a little bit about some of those changes? Because for me, watching my wife, I mean, literally, she would be in tears when she would read her resume and say, I have no idea whether this is correct or not. Yeah. Yeah, there, there have been quite a few changes uh, with the job market through the years. And so I work with a lot of clients who have been fortunate in the longevity that they've had with organizations. And so it is a shock when they get out there into the market now. Um, back in the day, we used to be able to send our resume out. And even if a company wasn't interested, they were still getting back to us. They were still letting us know. Now, the number one concern that many of my clients have coming in is they're getting their resume out to so many companies and just not hearing anything. So that networking and that follow-up is is crucial nowadays. Are you also helping them through this whole LinkedIn? Absolutely. Because that's like the new way to do this. It is. Um, Mm -hmm. My wife, uh, uh, I mean, literally, she's an executive uh, with a large uh, developer for over 30 years, didn't have a LinkedIn page. I mean, excuse me, she maybe had 10 people on it. Mm -hmm. She thought it was Facebook, you you know, and it was only supposed. So that took her a lot of time to actually set that up and make sure that started to work for her. Can you talk about that LinkedIn and exactly how that process has just changed things? Yeah, so a lot of my clients start off that way. They have a LinkedIn profile, but they haven't really done much with it. They don't know what to do with it. So LinkedIn is being highly utilized by recruiters and hiring managers nowadays. I think upwards of 96 to 97% of them are using it as a means of sourcing. So it is the place to be. So I will work with clients on building a strong profile on them there, walking them through the networking strategies that they can utilize, and really um, working with them to brand themselves as people of talent and not just job seekers. You know, I, I, I think this is so needed, particularly in the current economy. And uh, You and I have talked, and I run into people in my work, and, you know, your, your work, of course, is not just you know, if people have lost their jobs, but it's also frustrated, frustrated job people. Exactly. I, in fact, I even had someone come to me. I wish I'd known you at the time, but, um, you know, he had a very good job, but he was just burning out and hated it and wanted some help and how to probably brand himself. What is it he Did wanted he work to with do? You? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was good. That was, I mean, you just set that Thanks up. for not ringing the bell. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> The bell is one-sided. The bell is one-sided. Yeah, wow. it's only for Joe. Wow. No, but, but, but seriously, I mean, the guy was very talented, but he just wasn't in the right spot. And so you also help with things like that, right? Absolutely. So I, I have a mix of the clients that I'm working with. Some of them are currently unemployed, um, and others are employed, but they're just unhappy. They're not sure what that next step looks like. So I help walk them through that. I made the comment that in today's environment, probably a career coach or consultant is – more needed than in the past. Would you agree with that? I mean, do you think things have changed? I mean, you don't have the 30 year old, 30 uh, year employees anymore. And, exactly. you, and you've got people out of work and, uh, and uh, you got people, uh, companies that don't have as much loyalty as they used to have and everything. So I would just think there's a lot of frustrated 
employees out there. Yes. Absolutely. And, and things have changed so much. Things are so much more automated now than they used to be. Mm -hmm. So when you send your resume over to a company, it's not necessarily getting right in front of someone. It's going through uh, what we call applicant tracking systems. So that makes that resume creation even more important, mm -hmm. uh, making sure you're spending the time to tailor that. Oh, talk a little bit about the cost. Um, how does that work? What's the process like? Because obviously, um, if you don't have a job, money is an issue. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so with my services, I've seen a lot of career coaches out there. They have uh, certain packages, right? Um, one cost for, for each package. I work with my clients. I'll do a free consultation with them first to assess what their needs are, and then I go from there because I do understand, especially if they're not working, that might be a, a sensitive issue with them. Right. Now, do you work more with, for instance, my wife received this service um, because the, the corporation paid for when they let her go, they paid for her. Mm -hmm. to the, Is that the majority of your business or is it people like my wife seeking you out because she knows she needs help? I do get a lot of referrals through outplacement, mm -hmm, but I also get a lot of individuals that will find me and, and seek me out as well. So you'd say it's about 50-50 for you that, that that's the case? Honestly, right now, I think it's been more the outplacement referrals. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. How, let's back up a little bit. Sure. How did you get in this? Because how, how, did you, how do you become an expert at this, right? Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so I have my master's degree in clinical counseling, and I decided at one point that I didn't want to pursue counseling. Well, Wayne could use help. <laughs> Oh, I could use help. <laughs> oh, come on, man, with the bell. Sorry for that interruption. Carry on. So I started leaning more towards industrial organizational psychology after college. I got a job as a recruiter, and I just, I loved it. Um, but like I had mentioned earlier, those clients that I was placing, they needed more help than just a job. Um, a lot of them didn't really know what they wanted to do. You know, they were just taking a job to have a job. So in the summer of 2011, I decided to brand out and, and start go for it and I had the the pleasure I've had the pleasure since of, of working more in depth with some of these individuals and you know that is such a key and somebody like you or you're just specially skilled at that make sure you like what you're doing absolutely don't just take the job let's make sure you like it and if if you know enough you can go after the job that you know you will like to have yeah. instead of just the one that you see, you know, online or something like that. Mm -hmm. Talk to me a little bit about that process. What does that look like? How do I start the process of finding the job that I like or I want? Um, I mean, it depends. One of the first things that I can do with clients is offer them a career assessment and talk to them about those skills that they actually enjoy using, you know, what their values are. A lot of my clients have been on autopilot for so long, they haven't stopped to ask themselves those questions. Yeah. I, I see people in sales all the time, and they don't like sales. But but that's the job they got, and, mm -hmm. and they're not bad at it. <laughs> you know, they can make a living at it. But when they get up in the morning, they really don't want to knock on the door. Yeah. You know, they really would mm -hmm. prefer doing something else. Do you find that people have to back up as far as income or position to, to move forward in that, or there is a way to make this lateral move and still be something you like? Oh, yeah, there's definitely a way to make a lateral move. And a lot of my clients end up making even a little more than they had been because we work on putting the emphasis on those transferable skills. You know, so the average person nowadays, they say, changes careers four times. You know, that's not just jobs, but that's careers four times in their life. Huh. Careers. As you know, and as we discussed, I'm part of an organization called HOT, Helping Others Help Themselves, which is a all-volunteer organization to help people find jobs in the Lake Norman area. And <clears throat> we've grown to recognize that the holiday time is kind of an interesting time and that part of what we can do since we try to advise people is <clears throat> how do job seekers – get through the holidays it, it it might not be as fun or there might be things that they need to do differently for the holidays than they've done before what what would you say about that yeah that's a great question so there's the common misconception that things slow down on the job front during the holidays and that's not necessarily the case hmm. so um, research has shown that the number of actual openings doesn't seem to go down but the number of applications does so competition seems to be lighter around hmm. this time Interesting. I, yeah I encourage <laughs> my clients to keep that 
that momentum, remain persistent, and there's a lot of holiday parties, get-togethers. Get out there, take advantage of that, and do your networking. Do that networking. is a yep. great piece of information. If you're looking for a job, now's the time to keep at it. Exactly. You got a little window here. You got about three, four weeks that that, that you can be the aggressive, persistent person. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about, I'm, I'm looking on your website and, yeah. and there's something on here that seems really cool, which is you do the job search. You call it a job search package. Mm -hmm. what, what it Talk me through that. What, what What is that? It sounds like you'll actually help me look for opportunities. Yes. Yeah, so I break the process down with my clients um, and and we start off we'll talk about you know like we said LinkedIn before um, and I'll talk about how to actually use that in the job search process basically that job search package is putting together a strategy that's going to work for them so you know there's some common strategies across professions that work but obviously there's some specific strategies um, you know depending on my clients whether they're a doctor a lawyer or an engineer that might be you know better fits for them in the process that's really interesting. Uh, let's let's talk about your website. Yeah. Uh, it's a great website. There's just a lot of information on there. Thank I mean, you. I I, I there, I'm surprised how much you do. <laughs> you know, there really is a lot of stuff. Uh, go ahead and give them your website. Sure, it's www.goforitcc.com. One more time. www.goforitcc.com. Great. You, know, you know, one thing that you had on your website that I found interesting was you make a, if you remember this, sometimes you put things on your website and you forget, but you made a distinction between counseling and consulting and coaching, Yes, which I found interesting because as a coach, I'm always saying, well, I'm not really a consultant or I'm not really the same as a mentor or whatever. You know, what, what, what's your point there? Uh, yes. Yeah, so, um, counseling Counseling is a, is a bit more in depth, I should say, right? Than than the coaching and the consulting. Um, consulting, when I when I think of that, I think I'm more guiding a client through a process and, and giving them the tools. And then coaching, when I think about that, I'm more in the trenches and, and more hands on with my clients. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I'm looking on your website and it says stress management package. What is that? Yes. So. Um, the career assessment that I use, the Myers Briggs. Because I've got a lot indicator. of stress in my career here with Wayne. <laughs> Um, I utilize the Myers-Briggs type indicator when it comes to stress management. So I can give that report to my clients and um, based on their personality, the report that I generate is, is amazing. It highlights a lot of things that are um, common stressors for individuals based on their personality type and uh, ways that they can go ahead and, and overcome those stressors. That's really interesting. I, is it something I ask for or something you recommend, uh, Joe? You might really need this. It depends. I mean, it's something I know that to ask some is what clients. I'm, the reason why I'm asking that. Some clients will seek it out, you know, but other clients, it just it naturally unfolds over the course of the coaching, where you can just tell that that things are off balance, and and they'll express that they're having a difficult time managing their emotions in the process, and and that's how that typically unfolds. Because that clearly was the case with my wife. But I didn't know it till about two, three weeks in. It took about four months to find another job. And yeah. I didn't realize it. And she's acting different. That She really was genuinely upset and very much stressed. Yeah. And you're so, you are so qualified for this you know you and know. she's very calm too you can see she that. is she is kind of calm <laughs> she's she she won't allow me to rattle her when i'm making fun of yeah you. that's no fun we can't rattle her. i know i know <laughs> all right we've been talking to dana <laughs> westerfield of go for it gfi career consulting